Friday. Made Friday. It. Second busiest day of the year for me. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Wednesday being the busiest day of the year. Damn. Well, the funny thing is it doesn't have to be. But someone should, yeah. It's, there's a few people. There's a couple uh, couple people coming up the works. <laughs> Doesn't make it difficult. Are you back to work after this? Uh, I mean, I might do a couple things, but yeah. honestly, yeah. It's- My policy every year, mm-hmm. kind of like as years have gone by, yeah. we've, done, we've done this less, but it used to be like, yo, Wednesday night before Thanksgiving, we're there late. Like late. Yeah. We eat dinner there. Family. And this is just art department. Really? It doesn't really affect any. Well, the salespeople, some of them will sometimes stay late. Yeah. But that's like, see, that's the thing. Because we learned that mm-hmm. we, it's funny that I'm just talking about the end. Yeah. <laughs> well, we can start here. I'm pretty sure John listens to this anyway. Oh. But yeah, we learned that we just basically just have to be like, all right, yo, we're done. Yeah. We're done until we have to cut them off because mm-hmm. they'll just keep giving us stuff to launch. It's weird that it's not that it's the art department that has to keep going and not like people printing shirts and well, it's because we don't stuff. have anything um, website team. I don't know. Yeah, it's all the stuff for the web store, but we don't have what we need to until the day of. Oh, uh, a lot. Some of that you can chalk up to the bands, right? Some of that's tough. Yes, but. It's because we don't give them any sort of like a dude. Companies have to be meaner to bands. I know I say bands are disrespected, yeah. but in this <laughs> merch companies, bands need to get fucking slapped around a little bit. I agree. They send bad art. Mm-hmm. Give me a fucking one inch by one inch by seventy two yep. DPI JPEG, and like, yo, can I get this fifteen inches wide on the back? No, idiot. Whatever that means, but yes. Uh, seven. Usually things are mm. three hundred DPI for like. DP screen printing quality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 72 is not. 72 is like web. Oh. Like web images are 72 DPI. But that's it's like compressed. No, we don't we don't want that. I, that's not what you want. The, see the problem is bands are so tied up with fighting the merch cuts and all that bullshit that they they get to the web store and it's the last thing. I'm not buying. I'm, try, that. I'm trying to give them some sort of <laughs> I'm not buying that. <laughs> Speaking of which, I need to, we need a, Web Wing needs a, a web store, because I'm sick of it. Yeah, we can do one. Speaking of which, of which, thanks for everyone for listening. Welcome to the show. We, ha- If you want to see Web Wing, we got some shows coming up. We got some shows coming up. December 16th, 17th, and 18th. Yes, with two of those, with your favorite band, The Starting Line. Oh, dude. Can you fucking believe it? Dude. It's early 2000s, baby. I was going to start singing the song, but <laughs> I can't be front porch stepping it. We might get flagged, too. On YouTube, because it will be no for be, singing a song. It'll, no be, it'll, be, it'll be so perfect. I was gonna say everyone yeah. tells me that I look and sound just like him. So. It'll be the perfect pitch. Um, no, I'm excited for their shows. Um, they seem like nice guys. Never met them. Um, same with May. Never met them. Uh, so if you liked early 2000s music, I'm sure there'll be a ton of people there. Uh, but yeah, yeah, come out. It's gonna be an awful Times Square in DC. Yeah, and then, DC. I don't think it'll be as bad. But, no. Um. Yeah, I'm not really looking forward to. Everything around playing those two shows, basically. Yeah, playing the shows will be cool. Yeah. Besides that, getting there, logistics shit, that sucks ass. Dude, Times Square, what the fuck? First of all, I'm um, I'm grumpy. I'm not in like a terrible yeah, mood, yeah. but I'm, I'm grumpy. Oh, let it out. Good, good um, venting hour, you I'm know? Grum- I'm grumpy today. <laughs> I, uh, wait, what were we just talking about? The, the few shows we're playing. The few December, shows, yeah. yeah, dude. Why people? Why someone mm-hmm. was like, let's stick a, v- a music venue in it's the center stupid. of Times Square? They should be shot. They honestly should. Whoever is responsible, <laughs> I wish they were shot. <laughs> it's fucked up that they. And honestly, that. their own relatives should shoot them. So it hurts even worse. Ooh, that really stings, you know. Shoot them in both feet and then just light them on fire. <laughs> a real awful death. That's what I'm saying. Suffer and then die. Like have a huge snake, like mm. restrict them so their bones are cracking and then mm-hmm. well i guess the snake didn't do anything wrong i was gonna say then light Don't, them both on fire well in this in this uh scenario maybe it's kind of like what happens at uh anaconda yeah at the, uh, end, at the end spoiler alert sorry to spoil a fucking 20 <laughs> movie. in this scenario the snake is fireproof so the snake's okay it gets it off yeah the snake has a jacket on yeah <laughs> a snake jacket um but yeah those shows people will be there but philly if you're from philadelphia and you want to see web doing we're playing a really cool show on Sunday with Soulblind, Gel, 
N Warren. Can you believe Warren. it? Does Warren not have a Twitter? Every time I go to I tag them so. in a tweet, I can't find it. And mm-hmm. I'm like, I guess I don't have one. Twitter's dead. I, they, Yo, it really is yeah. fucking dead. Like any, anything I post on Twitter, yeah. other than the Telecaster tweet, nobody cares. That is true. Nobody did, fucking have, cares. He did have that little viral tweet, but the Telecaster tweet. We talked about it on yeah. Patreon. We went, we went deep on Patreon about my, yeah, so if you my want viral listen. tweet that got me fucking <laughs> murdered on the internet. Patreon. I was canceled. I got canceled last like Wednesday or something for for that for saying that men shouldn't play Telecasters essentially, which I stand by. <laughs> it's I can't I can't I really can't. I mean I'm a I'm a te- I have a Telecaster right inside there. Dude, if someone gave me a Telecaster, I would just play. I would simply play it. Oh, I thought you were I wouldn't wipe play your butt shows with it. With it. <laughs> I wouldn't play shows with it. You wouldn't be caught dead with it, but no. you'd have it. You'd like, keep dude, it around. Well. He does now, but I was going to say, Jay Mascus has, like, for his whole career, has played Telecasters in the studio. But not live. But not live. Uh, now he has a signature one that he, like, yeah, actually I, plays live. I can't see him in my head with him with a it Telecaster. Looks weird. It's not right. It is sparkly, which is kind of cool, but it's not, um, I don't, got, I don't approve. He's got long hair. Could pass as a, a female. See, that's the thing. He's a, he's if probably, you're a woman or a man that looks like a woman, I think it's okay if you play a Telecaster. They, them? See, see, that's the thing. I that's have said that I'm a they, uh, I am a they them trapped mm-hmm. in a man's body, mm-hmm. and, and therefore I could play one if I wanted. Nah, the loophole. Get out of it. But how is you as a man gonna play a Telecaster? Is what you're trying. I'm to not. Say. I'm not. <laughs> Me as a man is not gonna play. That my inner they them will be playing the fuck out of that thing. I'll be playing all kinds of. Uh, let's see, what will I play? Uh, American football. Oh, boom, 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 which, by the way, I tried to fuck around with open tunings the other night. Not for me. Stupid. Not for me. Pointless. Nah. Everything sounds like, um, like a uh, like an indie movie score. Yeah, I don't, I don't it's need to. Stupid be, uh, man. Scott or, Pilgrim. Everything the world. I played, played that movie's good. That movie is. I'm trying to think of uh, wrist cutters. I've never seen wrist cutters. That's like an indie movie, I think. Um. You know what I'm saying. You know uh, what I'm trying to say. Station agent. There you go. You never, seen never seen it, but I'm sure Peter it's Dinklage a, is a oh, breakthrough oh. breakthrough role. Dinky, Dinky's big, 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 big role. <laughs> yeah. Hey, um, like and subscribe if you oh, have not. Please do um, that. I don't know why we haven't at least hit a thousand. It's a little upsetting. I know a thousand people have watched. Yeah. So speaking of which, we, we went. Kind of viral. I was gonna say I don't know what the fuck happened. We went viral for uh, one of our reels on Instagram. (laughs) Like, got picked up and has thousands of likes. Um, It has a good amount of like shares and stuff, but I can't figure out what the fuck happened. There's not one person that posted it. There's not even that much like interaction with the post other than liking it, liking and viewing it. Yeah. I mean, we did get a bunch of Instagram followers from it. Did we get some? We got some. Okay. Well, didn't. It's just not. It's just not. One of our best clips, in my opinion. I don't think it's one of our best clips. It's funny. It's an interest. It's you know. But I wish it was one of our best clips. I you know, me too. But I guess it somehow worked. But yeah, it's weird. Like opening up the app and seeing hundreds of likes, like every second. I was like, what's what's going on? Every time I looked, I had like a hundred and something likes, and I was like, this has to be something. Yeah. Wrong. And then no one shared it. Nothing. No, I couldn't tell what happened. It must have been just like in a. he got algorithmed that day. Some someone up there, but, but it, dude, why? Oh man! I'm also, it was weird is that that clip was posted two weeks ago, three weeks ago at this point. Like, there's a, more clips ahead of it. It's just weird that that one got picked up over other ones. That like, why did one a few weeks ago get picked up? What if? Um, I forget if we talked about this on main feed, but what if the mm-hmm. one clip? Uh, we had a Patreon episode where there was there was you could, you were trying to cut a clip for Instagram. Mm-hmm. Um, but there was some a lot of context that was required because there was a, some some stuff about cops shooting people. Oh and right, stuff. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. And that. I was like, imagine. I was just thinking, like, imagine <laughs> if he did just make that clip without the context, and that's the one that took off. <laughs> we got like all these weird ass followers. That would be so awesome. <laughs> Maybe that's what we need. We need to Maybe just I, I'll post it. I'll go post everything it. out of context. <laughs> that might be the way to go. Yo, um, how was your Thanksgiving? My Thanksgiving was, um, it was, it's two things. It was fine, but also great because it was fine. Because it was so uneventful. Dude. Do you know what I'm trying to say there? Yeah, sort of. It was, I went to my sister's, we ate food, n- no politics talk, small family vibe, 
And then it was like five o'clock. All right, let's go home. Dude, That's here's it. here's a part of why I'm grumpy. Yeah. I'm I'm done with holidays. Thanksgiving in particular is pretty trash. Dude, I'm done with it. I'm straight up fucking like going into yesterday, I was like dreading it. I was yeah. like, dude, I hate Thanksgiving. This is so stupid. I feel obligated to, and then I the more I think about yep. it, you know me. Mm-hmm. I don't like feeling like I have to do things. Mm-hmm. I'm like a real brat that way. Yeah. But dude, there's something about First of all, I think traditions absolutely stupid. I hate them. Of any. Um talking any tradition. I think there's some things that are fun. Okay. But I don't like tr- the traditions of holidays where it's like that's what everyone does that day. Right. I got to do what all these other motherfuckers do that day just because that's what's like the cultural I hate that. I don't like that one bit. I, I sort of agree, but yeah, it does suck. Like, dude, I got to be made feel made to feel guilty. And listen, there's probably out there listening to this. They're like, dude, I don't have a family. I wish I could fucking hang out with my family on Thanksgiving. You know what? Exactly. You better tune out now because I'm about to fucking bully your ass. Um, dude, I'm also like a... Go off. I'm done with family, dude. Done with family. I'm. I'm. Light them on for fire. The, for the longest time, I've been like, when people say like, uh, it really gets under my skin when people are like, uh, people's parents feel like they're owed something for having kids and raising them. Yeah, I didn't. You didn't sign up for it as the child. Yeah, and like. Like, thank you, but... That's what I'm saying. I'm like, yo, I didn't ask you to have me, idiot. Yeah. Thanks for taking care of me. Uh, you didn't have to take care of me either. You could have just shipped me off. That's... I just, yo, I don't feel like I owe uh, my parents or, or, like, any allegiance to my family. To me, my family is... uh, no, They mean no more to me than a friend that I would have. Yeah. Like, but, I don't feel like a blood relative should mean as much as it does. I, I sort of agree there. Uh, but I think that's what makes it so special when someone does have a good relationship with their parents because they really just are two people that happen to have some sort of friendship. Yeah. So you have like a good relationship with your parents. And, yeah. And for the most part, I do too. Mm-hmm. But um, but I don't think both you- of them are like one uh one move one move that I disapprove <laughs> of away from me just being like we're done. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, like, what I, I guess what I'm trying to say is that if you don't, if you don't vibe with your your father or your mother, you don't, you shouldn't have to see them. You should be like, I don't like you. I don't like. I get when people say that. Like, I don't like you. Yeah, they don't. They don't get along, and they they shouldn't owe, have to owe anything to them. That's the thing. I feel bad when I'm like, yo, I'm not gonna come to anything this year. Um, you as the parent has the responsibility of making, uh being nice to your kid and making a friendship with them when they grow up. It shouldn't just be given. Yes. That shouldn't be given. Dude, that's, that's, that, I think that's more at the root of my fuck family, fuck holidays thing. Mm-hmm. Ooh, fuck Yo, family, anybody fuck that's older than me needs to get a fucking grip. Mm-hmm. Yo, people, um, I guess you could say boomers, but like, even like, boomers. my parents are not boomers. They're Gen X. They're, I guess, technically Gen, Gen Xers. X. Yeah, my parents are boomers. But like, dude, even them is so, honestly, I think I just don't like um, culture. I don't <laughs> like things that are like everybody does because they're like, that's what you do. Right. I, that my whole life has made me like. Uh, dude, you're black sheep, bro. Dude, I, I really am. You're out uh, of step. I really am an antisocial person. Yeah. Like, I, I truly don't fuck with, yo, don't talk to me about the weather. Yeah. Do not talk like small talk in general. Don't talk to me about sports. <laughs> don't talk. Don't like, dude. When people say shit, like, yeah. uh, like, dude, mm, I, I, I'm trying not to like throw specific people under the bus or talk about specific things. Yesterday, people were talking about the tryptophans making you tired in Turkey. Oh yeah, I not true. It's not true. No, it's not true. You're tired because you ate a fucking nine plates of food. But asshole. you can't argue with them because like, no, 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 it's the turkey. And you're like, sure, dude, sure. Uh, it's uh, the longer I live, the more I'm like. I'm going to go down in the blaze of uh in, in a bl- blaze of gunfire one day. Someone's going to fucking 
say something like yeah. that, it's going to flip a switch in my brain because I can't take it anymore. Uh-huh. My brain is going to overflow with like adrenaline and I'm just going to start lighting family members up. <laughs> And then I'm going to look around and be like, well, I guess I'm, it's either prison or death. And it's going to be a real Hill Bill situation. Just that's a, bang, that's bang, a thing, bang, man. Yeah, slice, it's going to be at a wedding. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be at my friend's wedding. I, was like, I had enough of this. <laughs> Hopefully not mine. Let's not do that one. <sighs> Dude, I, it's my brain. I'm getting, I'm, <laughs> it's coming to a boil. No, you can't do it at mine. But dude, and just the way that, mm-hmm. um, just the way that people are with kids. Mm-hmm. I'm starting to like my whole life. I've been like, yo, kids are just like so fucking annoying. They are. And like, listen, it's not totally their fault. No, they're kids. Kids will be kids. <laughs> just like and boys do, will be boys. And I do think like, dude, I don't have them because I'm mm-hmm. just like, I don't have the patience to deal with them. It's tough. It's really tough. I, but I also wonder if it's your kid, it's different. It's got to be a little different. I'm sure it is. But like at the same time, your tolerance level It probably is, but just the way that people deal with their kids and other people's kids, it makes me fucking sick, man. I'll say this. Straight up. I love my niece and nephew. I had a fun, really fun time playing with them. Hopefully they don't watch this years down the road. But they were crawling all over me and just inches away from just nailing me in the dick the whole time. I was like, please don't. (sighs) Dude, that's the price you pay as an uncle, bro. It really is. I had a blast with them. A blast playing with them. But I was like, there's just a slip away from them just nailing me in the Mer- balls. Wear a cup when you go over there. I should. That 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 might prevent See, all my me, problems. I'll never have to worry about this again because I'm never attending a family <laughs> function again. I swear to God. I'm never doing it again. That's how I was with uh, going to church uh, younger. Uh, and then I was like, why am I going to this? So I just stopped going to that because I was stupid. Like, I, and I used to go for Christmas and Easter. I'm like, why am I? This is stupid. I don't care about this. This See, isn't helping anyone. The only time I go to church these days is I take... I, Typically go once a year mm. with Joey's family on Easter morning. Yep. And then we go to some diner and we get breakfast. Yeah. And I'm done. I'm not doing it ever again. I agree. I've, yeah, you know what? I'm um I'm really like also I think I'm I'm too aggro. I was talking about this last time. Too aggro for church. I um I never thought of myself as like an aggro person mm-hmm. because I don't really like get in fights. Yeah, well, I, it's stupid to get in But, fights. dude, I'm so, pre- I'm so prepared. It doesn't take much before yeah. I'm like, if this goes any further, we have to fight. A fight or flight response. But, but dude, I'm, I'm, I'm going to start shoving parents around. <laughs> I'm not even fucking around. <laughs> My dad fucking steps out of line. I'm, I'm grabbing him by the collar and I'm it. checking him against the wall. <laughs> Joey's dad getting checked against the wall. <laughs> Uncles, I don't care, dude. I'm done. I'm straight up. I have no patience for family mm. anymore. They make me sick. I hate them. It can be difficult. I like my I like my parents. There's a couple aunt and uncles I like. Mm -hmm. A couple cousins I like. Mm -hmm. But yo, honestly, I could I could see almost. uh, I like my sisters too, Um, but I could see um, extended family never again, and I'd be okay with it. Oh, that's fine. Extended family is silly. I I have I've been seeing them more and more because of like. Wedding stuff and milestone birthdays. And I'm just like, who are you people? I don't know you. Speaking of but which, did that old lady the other day kiss you on the lips? No. I didn't. <laughs> no, she did not. Okay. But she got close. You made I, a face I, I, and I was like, did she just kiss him on the lips? No, she didn't kiss me on the lips. I think I know who you're talking about. And that is, that's an ex- like extended family that I rarely see. But now has been coming more and more back into yeah. my life and like she's very nice and i do like her but like i don't know her like that like don't don't kiss me you can just say dude, hi that's old people be kissing yeah dude i don't know what kind of stuff you got going on you you've lived a long life dude, we've talked about it on here before old people of a certain age they're just like they'd be fucking they could oh, would they be fucking like? you think she was trying to kiss you like she was trying to like hook up yeah. she uh you look like a young john stamos or something what if you uh, open up that cuckoo clock mm-hmm. and the bird came out and in its mouth there was oh, a little there's a that... little piece of paper and you unfolded it and it was a nude photo of her. I got it wrong. And it said to Jacob. I <laughs> Are you thinking of a different person? I was thinking of a different person. That who kissed me on the lips was not my grandparent. No, I know that. But Wasn't... did she kiss you on the lips? Uh no, she kissed me on the cheek, but she just sucks overall. She she can't use the internet, so she's just she's just a bad person. She's just an awful person. She's not Can't going to my wedding. 
If you're not coming to my wedding, but come to my bridal shower, fuck off, bitch. Oh, she like was like, I'm I can't come to the wedding. Yeah. Dude. That's too far. Dude, I was can like, I can I no. um who is that person? It is uh Laurie's grandfather's girlfriend. Um that's been around for many years. I shouldn't have divulged all the family situation, but she just is she just um, is like weird. Dude, here's the thing. Um, I don't know her, but yeah. I walked in the house. I was like, oh hi. I looked her dead in the eyes. And she said nothing and looked away. Yeah, she's got she's got nothing for me. And then she kissed you on the lips, and I was like, damn, I guess that's my enemy. And and they if, I could really go in, but I don't want to. Oh, wanna, dude, that's, I, I, see, that's the thing. I, I, don't I wanna need to, to, to dig into the family details, but she's just not. I'll leave it at this. Dude, I want to publicly trash every person I'm related mm. to. Remember, I have nothing, I have nothing for I have nothing. No ties to her. No ties to her. Just be nice to me. That's all I ask. But I think she's a pretty, pretty rude person. So no thank you. X no, next. Thank you. Is Laurie gonna hate that you said this? Uh I don't, I this don't know. This lady can't use the internet. So. I like she's an 80-year-old woman. I don't think my my own grandmother can't can't even find where we're getting married. This is um she can't use the internet either. So well, just I'm not too concerned just about this. Say on here where you're getting married so that yeah. she listens. She yeah. does find it, she knows where to go. <laughs> uh yeah. Oh. But yeah, I I I had a nice family Thanksgiving because I only had my direct family, my the people I like. And that's all I need. I don't I don't need extended family. See, like so did I. And I was just like I'll be honest, I was at Joey's family house. Yeah. So I, I didn't see any of my family yeah. yesterday. Um and you know what? I'm totally okay with the fact that I didn't see them. Mm -hmm. But I wish I didn't see Joey's either. <laughs> uh, sure. I mean, I also don't love Thanksgiving. The food at Thanksgiving, it's just like hosh posh of food. Like, it's just like... Dude, I don't like, I like Thanksgiving. Like, the, the tradition of Thanksgiving makes me sick. Like where it stems from? No, I mean no. I don't. I, I, I did have the idea of us dressing up as pilgrims oh, in India. I mean, I don't. I don't care about that. I mean, obviously, Native it's like no, nobody is going to be like. Even your farthest right mm -hmm. conservative is likely not going to be like. Oh yeah, I love pilgrims, and I love that they <laughs> killed Indians. Like nobody's like rioting yeah. for that, really. So like, I don't even feel the need to say that. Mm -hmm. Just like. Every part of Thanksgiving where, like, the whole thing where, like, the game's on and the guys do fucking nothing. Like, yeah. I, this is where I go on my feminist, yeah. feminist shit. Yes. Dude, the fact that, like, every Thanksgiving I've ever been at, mm -hmm. meals over, guys stand up, go and lay on the couch like fat fucking slobs. Rip a nice fart. Women just, like, clean up mm -hmm. and just, like, get the desserts and shit ready. Um... That makes me sick. The mm. football being on makes me feel sick. Yeah. Um, the just like the laying around and doing nothing. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's always too hot. The heat's too damn high. Yeah. Uh, dude, everyone's just beefing at the dinner table all the time. Yeah. Everyone's yelling at kids. Did you and mean? like the way that people parent their kids, I'm done with it, man. I'm yeah. I'm their parent from now on. Yeah. Dude, I'm sort of bullying everyone I'm related to from now on. Just have I, I have snapped. Like yesterday was the closest I've ever come mm. to just standing up and being like, you all make me fucking sick. <laughs> and I defy any of you to stand up right now and step to me. Mm -hmm. I was straight up like on the on the verge of violence. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> like I dude, I can't take I can't take traditions anymore. I'm truly gonna end up the guy that's in the woods and doesn't doesn't talk to anybody. Dude, something about that kind of seems nice though. Like I think about Oh, it'd be cool to like just wake up in the morning, make your coffee, go out, you know, do your know, do your labor out in the in the field, collect, come I back, know. gather. I w see. I want to be a social person though, and I truly am just like everything I'm that everybody truck. does makes me mad. Mm. Like, dude, I'm at the grocery store. Oh yeah, the grocery store. I'm that's fucking a different, homicidal. I mean, yeah, that's yeah. But then I'm around my own relatives, and yeah. I'm just like, if I could hang you from that tree out back, I would do it. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> and just like, yo, people at, uh, just like strangers anywhere mm -hmm. I go, like, I really only like 45 people tops. Oh, for sure. I think a lot of people are like that. But but they, they deal with a lot more than that. But that's, I feel like there's, I feel like most people yeah. are like, I love people. Mm -hmm. I don't, I truly don't like, uh, 
and I hate it is I hate that like I don't like to interact with other people because I get I get lonely. It's not like I'm like I you're not a complete psychopath, you know? Yeah, I'm getting there. Though. <laughs> I think I'm honestly getting there. <laughs> but I get what you're saying. You know, you're not you get lonely. It happens. But I I don't really want I like I can't tell what my brain wants. When I'm in a social situation, yeah. usually I'm becoming my like typically I'm becoming my grandfather, Ryle, just yeah, chill. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I'll talk to people, but like I'm tapped out socially pretty quickly. Well, yeah, it's a lot to just I there's only so much stuff I can talk about. But then I'm just sort of like I've gotten okay at parties, but well, yeah, as a younger when I was younger, it was definitely I was like, what do I do? But dude, like our friends are big into like busting out a game. Yeah. I don't partake in the games. See, I, the reason I like that is because then that eliminates all that. Like you just have to sit there and like, what do you talk about? Yeah. I, I like that part of it. I mean, with our friends, I wouldn't have to. But maybe if I didn't know what was going on, there's a game. Oh, sure, I'll play. I don't have to like actually talk. I think there's point. so few things that I actually want to talk about. Uh-huh. Like, I think that's why I like doing a podcast so much mm-hmm. because it's it's. Honestly, the most uh, the most social that I am. <laughs> Me get to talk to a mic, and just th- and just people listen. <laughs> they can't say anything. Back. This is the <laughs> this is straight up the most I talk. Yeah, for sure. I mean, same here. Um, and yeah. I don't know why that is, but I just truly don't want to. Um, I really don't want to. I sound like a crust punk on this episode. I never oh, really thought of myself yeah. as like a, like an anarchist, but I'm truly just like. <laughs> It makes, dude, it, all of it just like mainstream culture makes me really sick. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, I get where people are coming from. But dude, like, the that's the thing, like, generations before us, like, do, that is so bizarre to them. If I told my parents, like, yo, I'm not really, like, doing Christmas or anything anymore. Yeah. They're gonna be like, well, so, like, all of it, or... <laughs> Just not, yeah. Like, dude, I I just want to be like, yo, don't buy me anything. I'm not buying any of you anything. I hate gifts. I just like, I don't want any gifts. I want to age. You need, there needs to be an age limit. Under this age, we'll get you gifts because you just like, you know, you know, you don't really know how the world works. You just want these presents. That's the thing. Get the kids the gift. I don't want a gift. I got. I don't. I don't want one. I don't want to give one. Also, to like an old person either. Yeah, that's. Oh man. An adult doesn't. Adult and adult to adult shouldn't get each other gifts. Go buy your own gifts. How are you as a man gonna buy another <laughs> man a gift? That ain't right. <laughs> Unless it's a Telecaster guitar. Unless it's a Telecaster. I like, get gifted that. Yo, I think Will legitimately <laughs> did not like that. I one. I think the the fact that I called it a squire yeah. and the headstock is cut off, uh, so you yeah. can't actually see that it says Fender. And I feel like that's like a <laughs> at least thirty five hundred dollars oh, guitar sure. it's an or something. Guitar. It's, like, it's I think yeah. it's, it might be his nicest guitar. Yeah. But like, uh, <laughs> I think he legitimately didn't love it. And then someone that I know He's responded and said, "Get that gay ass yeah. guitar out of here." And I, I won't say who it was, but I got an actual oh. LOL off of that. He's a good. We gotta have. We gotta have Will on here. We gotta, you know, I settle know, the beef. See, I, settle dude, the beef on the to, guitar. I need to. My mission is to peel back Will's like, uh, public facing persona. Yeah, yeah, and really because can't. it's like that is his personality. Mm-hmm. But I feel like the general public just doesn't get a taste of like Will, um, like candid Will. That's what I was He's trying too to, pro. That's what I was trying to get with the shots when I was filming stuff at the studio the other day. I, I know, thought I was dude, like, this he's is fun. Like a, he's, he's, a, he's a really fun person. To I be know around. it sucks that he's so. Um, and I get it. Yeah, it's, and that's why he's brand. successful. But I'm just yeah. like, dude, you, people got to see the the fun. Like people are gonna, you're gonna start. You're making a bad. You're making Chinese people look bad. <laughs> people are gonna think you're all about business. Everybody needs to know that you have fun too. Bring out the fun side of that's it. That's what I'm saying. Maybe one night when he's not eating like a two hundred fifty plate, two hundred fifty dollar yeah. plate of sushi Ooh. for dinner. Uh, maybe he'll come over and do this. Yeah, That's like yo, we could do it there, but now I'm like, nah, you gotta come here. Yeah, I really get him. I'll cook him a dinner. I'll give him. We'll get him sushi king. Yeah, oh, dude, sushi king's good. We'll say. I like sushi king. I get, I get literally one thing from there, but same. Sushi king is uh, 
the sushi spot right near the house. So it's it's, um, it's, it's less really, than a mile. Uh, away. But it's good. It's hectic in there. I'll say that. It Picking is up hectic, food there yeah. sucks. Yeah, because no one's at the counter. They, they like walk up to you and then pick up. You're like, oh, Jacob. And they're like, hmm. And then they walk away. Yeah, and there's always people that are like just standing around, just like uh, yeah, like waiting. Nobody knows who's been helped. Did I ever tell you the time when I was waiting there and this girl came up to me and like grabbed me on the shoulder and looked at me and she was like, you're not my husband. <laughs> Dude, I've um, <laughs> and I was like, no. <laughs> I've almost done stuff like that a couple times. Yeah, that it was funny because then her husband did come in, and she's like, "Oh, whoops!" It looks exactly like you. So hot, so handsome. Nah, he, he just had to, like long hair. So, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I really wish I knew what he looked yeah. like. Yeah, <laughs> I should have. I should have got a picture of all three of us together. Yeah, I, can I get a picture of this? <laughs> um. Yeah, I. I'm done with holidays. Done with holidays. I forget if we got off of that or not, but um, yeah. I'm done Ooh. with them. Easter. Dude, the two gayest fucking holidays are Easter and Thanksgiving. The bird They're is- fucking pointless. They're so stupid. <laughs> They're so dumb. Uh, Yeah. What, what do they serve me? Nothing. Thanksgiving. Give it to a different holiday, but I guess they can't do that at this point, but I don't know. I, have me, I went off on Friday, not Thursday. <laughs> you know? Black Friday's not even a thing anymore. Dude, it is. It's just online. Yeah, it's on it's online Friday. It's Dude, different. that's that's another thing. People that like uh it's not as much as a th- as a thing now, mm-hmm. but like the tradition of uh now I now I'm hating on women. Yes. The tradition of Everyone's like all the it. women after they clear their plates and drink their fucking coffee mm-hmm. and eat their little pie. Uh I was gonna eat a my last piece of pie on this. Joy's mom makes this chocolate pudding pie. Mm-hmm. It's literally just chocolate pudding. Perfect. I think graham cracker crust mm-hmm. um, and like cream cheese and Cool Whip. It's so banging. It's good. I think I could eat an entire one by myself. Did, did you? I didn't. Do you no. go back for seconds on it? Oh, yeah. I mean, she yeah, sent yeah. the rest home with me. Uh-huh. So only a few other people had some. Mm. And then I crushed like a quarter <laughs> of it last night after we got home. I wasn't feeling the food at all this Thanksgiving. At Dude, all. Dude, I kind of wasn't either. Like, it was there good. was so much stuff. And none of it was, none of it was bad. It was like the same. Yeah. It was good. It was I was good. just sort of like, but after like, one plate, I was like, bring on the pie. <laughs> I took a plate and I like took a like a little scoop, and someone like commented on how small a scoop it was. But I was like, I want to try everything. By the end of the the table, I had a full plate. And I was like, this sucks. I literally just wanted to have like a just a little bit, so I didn't feel like shit afterwards, and I still Dude. felt bad afterward. And I had fart the whole time. Thanksgiving stupid. I'm never doing it again. I'm never eating a fucking... And dude, millions of turkeys just get murdered every year. Yeah. Now I'm going on my fucking... Five my or six shit. million? I'm not even vegan, but... but yeah, you don't got to kill a turkey. Dude, turkey's the worst tasting bird. It's so dry. It fucking sucks, man. Who likes it? I've never liked it. I, you know, obviously as a child, I ate meat, but... People like it. I thought I it was always it. trash. It sucks. Turkey sucks. It tastes like... If I was a what? fucking... If I was a pilgrim... Yeah. And I killed, dude. That's probably why the beef started with the pilgrims <laughs> and the Indians. Pilgrims are like, we brought turkey, and the Indians are like, we don't the, eat those, man. You got any deer meat? That's dude. Yeah. That's see, we should start killing the deers. Everyone's know. killing them anyway. Everyone's got fucking yeah. freezers filled with the damn thing. Yeah, that's crazy. You kill one, that'll be a feast for like five families. Yeah, it would be iconic. It'd be like a movie, like the all that food, all that beef. The on only the way that turkey is good uh-huh. is if you take the turkey mm-hmm. and you mix it with the with the mashed potatoes. Yeah, and the uh, cranberry sauce. You like cranberry sauce? I love. Do you, I like it in the can? Oh yeah. Like, like <laughs> does it come any other way? I, I have no idea, but I something about it in oh, the dude. can and having like the 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 sides like the ribbons I on love the side. It. is my favorite thing. I love cranberry sauce. I love it's per, the I love perfect cranberry thing. Juice. To mi- yeah, me too. Yeah, what about good. cranberry ginger ale? Uh, I had some. Joey's yesterday. brother was telling me he like cr- just crushes like. It was good. Oh, I had some awesome. yesterday. Yeah, it was good. good. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I like them mm-hmm. a lot. It's red, right? Yeah, it's like pink. I yeah, guess it's, it's awesome on my period. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, crushed really, that shit. It's, it's um, I don't. I, yeah, I guess. Cr- I always associate cranberry juice with um, UTIs. That's what it is. But I think, sorry, girls do drink them on their period. If you're a girl, yeah. chime in. <laughs> or someone that gets your period. <laughs> Please help us. <laughs> Please help us. And let us know when you prefer to drink uh, cranberry juice. 
Oh, yeah, I guess guys. Because it's that part in The Departed where he orders a cranberry yeah. juice, and the guy's like, what are you, on your period? Uh, and he smashes the thing over his face. Maybe he is. Maybe he's on his period. Don't ask him. Don't, don't put him down. Seems like, like the answer is yes, because <laughs> if I asked my girlfriend if she was on her period, she'd smash a glass over my head, too. <laughs> um, But, yeah, so... The cranberry... Oh, dude, the cranberry sauce mm-hmm. is the perfect, like... People that are hate... See, I don't like stuffing, though. I think stuffing is, Stuffing's like, trash. Even disgusting. Real stuffing or vegan stuffing, I don't like it. I don't dude, like it at one bit. Do you ever have pineapple stuffing? Pineapple stuffing, that's a whole different that's thing. My that's, that's my shit. That's different. That's different. It's got but, pineapple in it. But, like, traditional stuffing yeah. is so gross. It mm-hmm. literally just tastes like they took the season, the seasoning drawer mm-hmm. and dumped a sprinkle of everything and then just, like, poured water on bread. Yeah. Yep. And then they just were like, it's there you done. Go. Yeah. But dude, other than the stuffing, I feel like all you get your vegetables. I love like mixing it all together. Oh, you gotta. That's the only way dude, it, it's good. Mashed potatoes, throw the fucking corn on top. Mashed potatoes is like the glue that holds it all together. And then you kind of yeah. dab it all in. It's like a cold, like cotton wet. But dude, without cranberry sauce, like I feel like missing any of those ingredients mm-hmm. other than like I could do without the turkey. Yeah. I, this is the thing before it was even. Didn't eat meat. I would just not eat the turkey because I thought it was trash. Yeah, and the turkey is only edible when it's in this mixture. I will say this: turkeys can look pretty appetizing, though. They look pretty good yeah, if they're they like you know, they look nice and bronzed and golden. That's the one we had yesterday. It was it was a really bronze, like big turkey. I was like, yo, that looks like it's out of a movie. Yeah, there was a big it, like one whole leg. Yeah, that I was like, dude, that looks mad Ren fair. Y- Right? If I, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to fucking just like, <laughs> if I was King Jacob, I'd have oh, that dude. just like. Oh, man, it'd be so sick to be a king because you could just be fat as fuck and you still fuck. And you're still respected. Well, that nobody respects made. you, but... You got money, I guess. You got gold. I got gold. Um, well, behind your back, I yeah. mean, you're getting lit up <laughs> by the, the peasants. Oh, for sure. But, I mean, that comes with the territory. Yeah. You got to expect it. And you know what you can do? Away with you or off with oh, them. Yeah. Off with them. Um, I've talked about this on before. On the podcast before, yeah. I'm sure, but which I have to stop saying. I realize I say that all the time. I preface everything with like, I, I've probably talked about some, some stuff that you have to though, because some people come at you like, oh, I've heard that story before. It's like, okay, yeah, but for this instance, I have to talk about it. Yeah, that see, that's another thing. Um, why I just don't like society. Mm-hmm. I'm like a real like a uh, good Charlotte, yes! like uh, Avril Lavigne, <laughs> like tongue out, wearing a tie with my T-shirt. Um, plaid pants, kind How of. How bad like, I would want to wear costumes on this pod all the time. <laughs> if they were comfortable, I can't wait till next Halloween because mm. I'm gonna spend fucking two thousand dollars on my yes. my costume. Yes, because we will be rich by next Halloween. Oh, I just throwing it out there. I love it. If this um, stuff keeps going viral. I think we'll I think either so. be rich by next Halloween uh-huh, uh-huh. or I will be dead. Well, I hope it's the first one. <laughs> well. You could be rich by then. I know, but I hope it's the first one. I'd rather have us be rich than me be rich. Um, if I died, who would be your co-host? Hmm. I'm thinking like, um, what's the guy that does Family Feud? Uh, Steve Harvey? Yeah, Steve Harvey. He'd be a good one. You couldn't get Steve Harvey. <laughs> hey, I gotta get someone that can really go back and forth with me, though, you know? Um... Dude, Steve Harvey would light you up. He'd be so much meaner to you than I am. He would definitely be like, everything you would say, he'd be like, oh. <laughs> take his cards and just be like, oh. that'd be great. That'd be good. That'd be a good show. That's all it, Family Feud is. Yeah. Him oh, just right, like, yeah. and then the, him saying something that leads them into saying something sexual. Top five And then they things. say something sexual and then he acts like they're like, Dude, it's a good bit, though. It works every time. I mean, yo, I'm it works. Like, oh, this is good. <laughs> but it's for, like, dum-dums. See, dude, that's yeah. what I can't... I'm too... I'm dumb, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. I'm somehow too... Uh, I'm somehow, like... I'm, not to say that I'm better than your average person. Mm-hmm. But, but, like... Oh, man, this this is making me sound more and more like a middle schooler. But, like, yo, does nobody think for themselves? Think? People really don't. I think that's what it is, just yeah. seeing people, like... Everybody turns into their parents, and that makes me so sick. Mm. I hate it, huh? Because they ra- they they Cause rally against it, and they rally against it, and then they hit a certain age, and that, usually it's once they have kids, yeah. and then they just do the same shit. 
I never really rallied against my parents. So that's the that's the issue I'm having trying to connect it. But I see other people but, that way. Not yeah. like rallying against, but like they'll rebel yeah. and like their whole life they'll be like, oh my God, I can like my parents are so like out of touch. And then they just fucking do the same shit. Yeah, download TikTok, you old fucks. Oh man, get that the, might be worse get, though. Get the dances going. Because then they're doing then they they have the same mentality, mm. but then they're just begging for attention on TikTok. With with the whole like Twitter thing kind of going downhill, there's been a few like social media shit that's been like popping up, I feel. Like other other social media apps, they're all gonna fail. I think they're all gonna fail too. But now I'm like, well, I've which, seen a couple of people we know be like, I'm moving over to here. I'm like, bitch, no, you're yeah. Not. I was like, no, you're not. no one's following you. I did download a few because for some reason there's a million Jay Clark's now. I guess every kid that's like ten years younger than me or a parent that's ten years older than me decided to have a kid and have a name Jake Clark. And all those little fuckers take all my, those are pretty, take all my um, URLs. But I never had that issue before, until. Well, everybody's got the internet now. I, ain't that the truth? So, do you need to be the Jake Clark on every? No, oh, well, I just have it on Instagram and Twitter. But then my I have a be real, and I Jake Clark was already taken. I was like, damn, I think that's like a new app. Um, they really want. They didn't want like some. They didn't want to come up with like a cool name, you know, like um, I don't know, Minecraft Winner Four Twenty. I personally will never sign up for another social media app ever again. You're saying it on here? I'm Go saying on. it on here. But personally. Maybe personally. Personally. So that doesn't count for, for like the, the band, band or the show or, or something yeah. like that. Because there may come a time where like I really am back to no corner on making TikTok. I mean, with, with this kind of format, it would work. I'm we not, should, I'm not we should have a TikTok it. for the podcast. We, I'm actually we not against because we already make the reels anyway. Yeah. But um, it would only make it. Oh, okay. All right, downloading it right now. Yeah, we should. We yeah. should. We we could be popping off on TikTok right hey, now. Hey, we went viral on Instagram. You know, we could only just go yeah. more viral on TikTok. Um, but then the Chinese. But then the Chinese got all my data. They can have it. <laughs> they can have it. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. I don't got nothing for you. That's the thing. I got. Um, what are you making off me? Nothing. I got good credit and mm -hmm. no money. <laughs> the dream. I'm like um. I'm truly like uh like the like people that would steal my identity yeah. or would be repelled by me. But, oh, this guy's got such good credit. I guess they could somehow take advantage of my good credit score, uh -huh. but like what's that gonna get? It's only gonna get you so far. Yeah. I, mean, it's not, it's not I don't even know how they that would far. do that because my yearly income's not stellar. Mm -hmm. So like until next year. Until next year. Uh-huh. The thing is, dude, I still haven't done my taxes. For last year. This year's coming for twenty <laughs> twenty one. Yeah, this year's coming up. The one, yeah, the ones I was supposed to do in April, I didn't yeah. do, and I don't you know. Do them. I, I honestly, it might take you thirty minutes. It's stupid. You have to do taxes. I don't. That's know That's a whole to, other thing. I don't know how to do the extra stuff though. Just don't do it. You think? See, that's kind of like what I think what do, I should what, do. I mean, like, what are they going to do? I mean, it's not like an absurd amount of money. And if they come after you, be like, oh fuck, I did forget. Like. Are they really going to come after... This has to be the Patreon episode. Now. Yeah, right. <laughs> Are they really going to come after... So, so, like... I mean, I, I think I could not, not do my taxes ever again, and they would just not... It might eventually, maybe 10 years, 20 years down the road, but... Dude, there was dude, a... There's 8 billion people in the world. There was a big gap where I didn't do them. There's 8 billion people. They can't get everyone. And I was making, like, $300 a year. Yeah. Back in 2018. <laughs> <laughs> um... Speaking of, well, nothing, but you excited for the new uh, Avatar movie? Are you, are you Hold on. Let me back that up. Are you going to go see the new Avatar movie? I don't know. I don't think I will, honestly. I kind of want to see it. I know. You, you've, I kind of want to see the new Avatar movie. You've been sticking to those guns since day one. I, I, I don't I don't think it will be good. Or like I don't have any... I don't want it. It doesn't need to be good. I can't give my money to it. But... I can't support it. You can't support the... I can't support Avatar. Okay. Okay. Avatar is is like the uh, the movie embodiment of mm -hmm. everything I've been complaining about on this podcast. <laughs> but what if the new one's a whole different? If, different listen, vibe? if I hear it's good, yeah, from people whose opinion, I'm like, oh, I respect their opinion. I'll check it out. I'll check it out, but I don't think I'll see it in theaters. Okay, okay. Unless um, there's like article upon article on it that's like you have to see it in theaters. Hmm. I haven't gone to a, a movie in a while. So I kind of want to go. Yeah, I last need, one I, I saw was movie. Barbarian. Because um, I do the one thing about Christmas that Christmas that I like, I like going to a movie after, like the holiday after Christmas, like on the twenty fifth that night. 
Same. You know, be even sicker about that though. Hmm. If I didn't see my entire family the entire day, and I was just like, "Yeah, I'm hitting a movie tonight." It's all. It's my only plan for today. That's your Christmas, uh, dude. Your Christmas tradition: <sighs> just go to the movies, and I like that tradition. Because here, here's part of it. I think my parents have not been together my entire life, mm-hmm. so it's not like I have like one holiday gathering. Yeah, where my whole family gets together, and like my brothers and sisters, and we're all like, that's where we're, we all are for like one time a year. Mm-hmm. It's not. It's not like that. So I end up having to go every Christmas. I have to go to at minimum three households. That sucks. It's bullshit. That's a, that's the reason why I thought about having kids. If you have kids, you say we can't leave. If you want to see them come to, you have to come here. I don't. Th- I think everyone thinks that, and it's just like, see, you can pull that card at this point. I have people have to start being meaner to their parents. Not meaner. But they got to stop. Uh, I'm not worried about my parents. Like, It's not like I want to hurt their feelings. Yeah. But I'll just be like, that's unacceptable. I'm not doing that. Yeah. You got you to stick up for yourself. The way that I am talking makes it seem like I was raised like a brat. Uh-huh. It's the opposite. Uh-huh. And now I have no, I have no <laughs> respect. See, I think I, was, I, think I had so little uh, good experiences with adults when I was younger yeah. that now as an adult, I resent adults. Hmm. Sometimes I forget I'm an, an adult. Um, I don't. I feel like it's I'm reminded of it constantly. More just like I don't know. I just I, huh. how do I say this without sounding creepy? I don't think I can. Hmm. So you heard it here first. <laughs> um. No, I just feel young. Like I just feel like. I just feel like I can relate to everyone right now is what I'm trying to get at. Cause like, I feel like I can relate to the younger generation a little bit. Like my, That's my insane. Cause I can't relate to anyone. My cousins that are like 18. Like I, f- I feel, I feel like I'm relating to them. Maybe not. Maybe it's like, they're just looking at me like, dude, you're, you're, you don't get me at all. And then I feel like I can talk to my parents and be like, oh yeah, this shit. And like, we can relate. I just feel like I'm kind of, I can't relate around. to anybody. Can you relate to... Like, dude, I I know I joke around a bit about being autistic and mm-hmm. with the invention of TikTok, everyone thinks they're autistic. Yeah, yeah. But I'm something. Yo, speaking of that, I watched The Love and the Spectrum Girl, her TikTok, and she was talking about the blonde chick that's kind of not really autistic, yeah. but kind of autistic. She Taylor was talking, Swift. That's Taylor Swift. That is Taylor Swift. She, her... She was going on about how her clothes don't fit right and that she has to bring multiple changes of clothes when she goes out. And I was like, hey, that sounds a lot like Taylor. Yeah. Dude, my, so you're on something. There. My sleeves <laughs> never fit. Like, I, I I don't know what it is. It's mm-hmm. my right sleeve in particular. That if I have a shirt on under another shirt or jacket, yeah, yeah. this sleeve, no matter what, is bunched up, mm-hmm. at least to my feeling. Mm-hmm. It feels like, um, like, I don't know, when I watch people just, like, slide their jacket on and mm-hmm. they're just good to go, that makes no sense to me. I'm like, your shirt is bunched <laughs> up to high heavens, I'm certain of it. I had to go put my jacket on, straighten out my sleeves, like, you know, reach in the sleeve, and this one's just gives me hell yeah. at all times. You should just go sleeveless on that one. But it's just all, <laughs> it's just all, it's not, th- not this, sh- oh, just this arm, you mean? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, just sleeveless on one arm. Oh, dude. That's your look. If I have a long sleeve t shirt on, it's causing problems. If I have a short sleeve, it's not. See, it's more. I'm talking sleeve. about throwing on a jacket. Really? It's more short sleeve, yeah. Long sleeve is always kind of. Because it does. sleeves it does with this a sleeve thing, over it. It starts me nuts. twisting. You know, you ever get that where like this, oh, yeah, this starts twisting funny. and then you put the shirt over and you're like, oh no. But this might be a little bit different than how you normally feel. Because I don't, I don't. I never feel like my stuff doesn't feel. Oh right. my God, dude. All my clothes. Like my. I have to wear special underwear because my underwear mm. always feels like it's like bunching up and I... Dick's too big. Can't, I, dude, I'm a, I have to get the big dick. See, I don't have... <laughs> I don't have a tremendous hog. Mm-hmm. But dude, why don't they make the crotch lower on men's pants? Crotch lower, not up as high. I keeps the balls separated maybe or something. But that's uncomfortable. I don't want something poking in between my balls yeah. to keep them separated. I thought they had and it now figured they sell, out. And now they sell all these underwear with like a special little pouch yeah. for your dick and balls. I'm like, I don't need a special pouch. I need everyone to make the fucking pants a little bigger. 
Let them hang. Like, dude, Let I don't want to have to dress hang. left or right. I don't like that that's a thing. Like, yeah. oh, do you dress left or right? Like, do you tuck your dick to the left or right? It's like, I want it in the center where it belongs, dang it. Well, for some people, other people might go left or right. Well, mine's straight as a fucking <laughs> arrow, and I would appreciate if it could remain that way. You don't want to get it tainted. My childhood best friend had the mm -hmm. weirdest looking dick ever, and it was like real... It was like a new guy? Was not new guy's dick spent? I think so. Yeah. But anyway, go on about your... <laughs> but it was like... It, it looked pretty fucked up. It was like a... It had a hard curve to like one side. When it was hard, I guess? Yeah. 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 Huh. And I remember just thinking like... Like he, he would be like, yeah, if I piss in the urinal, I got to like angle it. Otherwise, if I just start pissing, it'll just piss kind of sideways. If you're a female, do you like that? Or do you, do you really just not care that much? I see, dude. I don't really understand um, how I don't. Under, I don't think I understand dick wise what a dick enjoyer wants. Me neither. I'm sure it's different for all people, but I'm like, generally people speaking. like. I, I guess it's different because they make every shape and, and size and uh, orientation of oh, dildos. dildos. Yeah. So like, I guess people like a a big head, or some people like a small head and just like a girth, girth. or just like. My thing is, th this is, <laughs> I, when I'm watching porn, even I beef a real skinny wiener. It's got to have a little it's, girth it, to it. It gets on my nerves. I'm like, I, I'm, I can't get, I can't rock. This is. How can I see myself in this situation? Dude, I can't. Mine looks like a football. So I'm like, <laughs> this one looks like a freaking Laffy Taffy. I'm out. A Laffy Taffy stretched really far. <laughs> oh, a skinny long dick? Yeah, see, you know, skinny dicks can't come to this. Get, get out of here, skinny dick. Yeah. Why are also, why are skinny dicks in porn? How are they getting casted? Are we that far in the Dude, whole I got, we, should have, we should have my porn star friend on here. Which, by the way, I saw him yeah. recently mm -hmm. in public, and uh, I didn't go over and say hi because, like, uh, he was sitting at a bar and I was at a table. It was actually uh -huh. a tri Triangle Tavern. Oh, really? And I was going to so go say what's up to him. And I did. I sort of just forgot when I left, mm -hmm. and then the next day he posted that he was uh, he had COVID. So I'm Dodged glad that I did. But COVID's not real, up. so yeah. Yeah. It means nothing. that's not anything. You should hit him up. I should hit him up. We should have him on this podcast. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't know that he would be um, funny. He might be. I don't really know. He, he's he'll be down for anything. I but I want to ask yeah. him like, how do I? Um, can just anybody be in porn if you're down? I I think at this point, yes. Because I think if you're a hard enough worker of posting, you can make porn. I don't think I don't think I am a hard enough worker, but um I'm not my saying, dick stays hard. That's probably a big plus. Dude. But do you want to be in porn? Uh, I don't know that I would say I want to, but I feel like it would be. Uh, I think you need a passion. It'd be for a it. cool job. It would, what? If, uh, I don't think I'd be allowed to. Well, yeah, I'm no, but I'm just saying different circumstances. I don't. I don't think I would. I just don't. I don't know. Um, I don't think I would want to in like like parallel with being in bands and doing the podcast. I don't know if right, I right. want my thing to be like, this oh yeah, the guy that does the podcast and the band, then the music, and he also is in porn. Alter alternate universe. Dude, if something happened where like I stopped doing music or stopped doing or dot, basically just like switched my whole life up. Yeah. Um, Porn could be on the docket. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wouldn't. I, I would do it for sure. Hmm. I don't care. Bang some hot chicks. Gay for pay. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't know about that. But is that a bad um, term? That's a term, I, though, in the, in the industry. I think it's okay. I, gay for pay seems I, who the fuck has a problem with that? Pay for gay. Like, um, if anyone has an issue with the term gay for pay, then they're trying to get offended because <laughs> it's lit literally what it is. Yeah, it's literally what it means. Um, yeah, eh, I could see. I'm not against it, but I don't know if I would do it. I'd have to get in better shape for sure. That's the pro that's the hardest part, man. I went to the gym today. Closed. It's like, what? Are you kidding me? Someone see? like, uh, dude, tr these traditions make me <laughs> sick. Even the Jews are like, I oh, know. we got to close today for Black Friday. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> I think their spa overflowed or something. Oh, fuck. Because they had the the like disaster team there. Like, they had a bunch of vans out front. I was like, 
what's going on? So I didn't even get to work out today. Didn't get my swell on. How the hell am I supposed to jump industries and become a porn star? I don't know. I um. There's no way. There's no hope for me. I uh need to throw out the disclaimer that uh Joey would probably have to die or divorce me from right. Yeah, alternate universe. Yeah. Yeah. Not this universe. We're. Yeah. We had we had Doctor Strange come in and yeah, jump through the portal. But if my wife died, I would <laughs> I would pivot to porn for sure. Okay, okay. Yeah. I, mean, I don't think I would. It's not like my dream job. I just think like if I had like an opportunity, yeah. And I had really nothing else going on, I'd be like, yeah, I don't care at all. I'll do that. Leap at an opportunity. That's nothing's bad with that. It makes sense. Yeah, it would have to be like um, grabbing life by its It horns. would have to be high end though. No rinky dink little iPhone camera. Yeah, it's not going to be like a, it's it's got to no be a full budget. production. Yeah. Okay, you see this, amp it up, keep going, yeah, keep yeah. going up, and you need an actual W two or W nine from it. That's I I want to be under the table. <laughs> I don't do my taxes. <laughs> I'm going to need to be paid in cash. Also, oh, do they do that anymore? In I've, general, dude, I have you can get paid in cash. Oh yeah, but I have no idea how the poor world works at all. Um, is it similar to any like underground kind of thing like how do you come up through the ranks like with band shit I get it I get how to like keep hustling and get more popular and you know start playing bigger shows but band stuff or uh, porn stuff do you just keep fucking and you keep fucking bigger and bigger for whales dude like, can I can I um I hope this comes off the way in the spirit that I intend uh huh porn to me is the most like there's no way, like, hmm, how do I word this? <laughs> Music, there's so many people mm -hmm. that, like, blow up. Right. And I'm just, like, happy for them. Don't get it. Right. I get that. Porn. With music. There's, like, top build gals mm -hmm. or guys. And I'm, like, I get it. You got James I, James Dean. They're the they're the best ones. They're, they, they're hot. They're, um... For sure, hot. But like, they also know how they're to the work. Best performers. They, I they're say, the they know performers. how to work on camera. They know how to get like to look. It they know how to right. make. They know how to make they me know? come. <laughs> and that's what their job is. They're great at their job, so that's they should be making the. And you know the what? There's bucks. plenty of people that uh, aren't f famous through porn that do porn, and right. I can see is why. There, is there people that are? And there's got to be people that are do porn that are live a nice, comfy life and aren't famous. For sure, but I mean, it's probably something of a grind. It's got to be, and you got to be. I'm, f I'm sure if you're like not on like the higher end sites, you're probably putting yourself in some pretty questionable scenarios. Yeah, but if you're on like Pornhub or one of those, that you could, you could get in the algorithm and get bumped up. Yeah, I also think a big. I think people put their OnlyFans clips on there and shit. Yeah, that's kind of where it's kind of moving. You know? Yeah, yeah, it works. What's that? What's that for podcast? TikTok. Spotify. Spotify. <laughs> Spotify. <laughs> Put your clips on Spotify. Or Spotify is a porn hub of podcasts. Um porn hub is my something like that. I'm an I'm an X videos guy. An X videos guy? <laughs> X videos three now or something? X videos three. Here's one for the guys. It's three of them? I don't know. X N X X. You ever use that? No. I Should one. I? Eh, no, nah, it's not that good. I, okay. I have a few. X Hamster. Um, drop one. the uh, drop a uh, like and subscribe, and also <laughs> drop the best porn sites in the in the description. Just, in just the, in the comments. Just for shigs, you know. Um, what else you got for them? This is this episode has been fully just like me complaining. Uh, I mean, threatening the lives of family members <laughs> and porn. Basically, we close it out on porn. Thanks for everyone listening. Because yo, I feel like if if uh, if I got in better shape, uh -huh. my face doesn't have to be in it. Well, yeah, there's a lot of that. Yeah, so like my face doesn't really have, like really matter that much. No, you get the POV shot. Or I feel like, like my face is three, like a three sixty oh, shot, yeah, the dude. Oculus shot. That is true. Be kind of cool. But you need a good six pack for that. No, I, no one wants to put on the Oculus and see some. I don't. I don't know if you. Well, dude, there's actually. We'll talk about this off the, <laughs> off, the, off the mic, but I I think the 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 industry is more anybody can do it now because you can you can literally just do it yeah, we can. and just make your own money. You don't have to have right. 
you know, production. I mean, we got cameras here. You can make porn as much as you want. I was going to say, honestly, this might be a good Good lighting. Stew. Yeah. Change this into a bed. Which, by the way, dude, we got to spice up. I was watching some of our videos. Yeah. We got to spice up our background, man. I know I say it all the time. Oh, yeah, let's like, spice it up. We got to have a... Um, I don't know what we can do. It's just tough because it's so it's a close shot, you know. Like how spiced up can you really get? I, I I'm drawing a blank. I don't know. Should we make it more? Um, I've talked about this before. We can pinch it on here. Yeah, I know. Should we make it like? Uh, should we sit next to each other? Should we get rid of the table? Oh, we change the whole shot of it. Do do chairs? I I don't know. I mean, definitely like a couple side tables. So we can rest our our drinks on there. Could switch it up. I know. I like. I like. I like always reinventing. I just feel like this as like the background uh-huh. can could be a little more. Um, we could make that a little more interesting, but I also okay. don't know because because we have a third camera. That's what I'm saying. We could we could do a wide shot. Yeah, we could do just a center shot. Yeah, and then. Uh, this is Patreon, dude. I can't believe we're just giving the main feed all this inside info. I know, right? But I feel like if we... Yeah, let, I think we should try that. Okay, well... But then our full bodies will be in it. Just to get jacked for cam. I really do need to do something about my health. Yeah. Because I don't eat anything healthy. I don't do anything healthy. And uh, I'm starting to get scared I have stomach cancer. Eh. Don't, get, don't get that in your head. Get yourself checked, but don't get that in here. See, That's I won't. bad. I won't. Just do it. You got health insurance? Just do it. Yeah, but then I got to go, and I got to <laughs> stick a thing up my <laughs> ass. And... and then what if I like it, and it's a whole thing? Um, I don't think I will. I've yeah. talked about this on here before, but I don't, I'm don't. i not a th- things on my ass guy. Mm. I've never uh, had my, my prostate milked, so maybe I would love it. But I don't like physically the feeling of things in my ass. Yeah. I don't like that. We like shit come. We like stuff coming out. Like shit. exit only. That's why I have the tattoo there. <laughs> All right, should we wrap it? Let's wrap it. We'll see everyone on uh, the Patreon feed. Uh, could you ban why you still can? Uh, Patreon.com. So you you know what it is. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Yeah, that's, the shirts that's are coming. That's most important. The shirts are the shirts coming. Shirts are coming. You missed out, but you'll see them live on. And here. honestly, I think we should put up another design soon. I love that idea. Yeah. Sell one, sell it out. Go to the next design. So thank you all for listening. Yeah, like and subscribe and also join the Patreon.